right, so I know it's rather windy. Um, I'll try to keep it like this. Hope you guys can hear anything. Um, random video, not gonna be car related for today, but um, I'm gonna go on a flight, an aerobatic one. It's gonna be pretty cool. So I'm gonna try to get some footage of that, doing some loops and spirals and whatever. And hopefully it turns out well. And if you guys like it, I'll upload some more flying stuff. So yeah, stay tuned.
that was probably the most amazing thing I've ever experienced in my life. Like I'm exhausted. I came home, I showered and took a nap. It was so physically challenging to fly that. Like I severely underestimated it. Uh, my hat's off to all fighter pilots. It's like genuinely so much more work than people think. Um, I apologize for the footage not being like amazing, like very lackluster. I didn't even like get all the maneuvers or like the, the violence and high speed maneuvers um, just because it's very difficult to film under those conditions. And also I ended up flying myself. Can you believe it? So I was kind of distracted to be honest, um, but more of that later. Firstly, um, this was a 21st birthday gift from my parents. So huge thank you to them. This was an amazing experience. Um, so yeah, more about the flying. Um, where do we start? So the aircraft was a uh, Nanchang CJ-6, which is a Chinese fighter trainer, um, which is a follow-up model of a Nanchang CJ-5, which was basically a copy of an old Soviet Yakulev 18s. Now, these things are violently fast, like so much faster than the stuff I fly. Um, so like we departed and went overhead the desert, climbed really high, and then I was shown how to do a roll and how to do a loop. And wow, it's, like, it's amazing. It's like so cool. Um, so we did a bit of that. But um, me being stupid as usual, I told the pilots on the ground, like, listen, I want to get like the real experience, like violent maneuvers, high G's. And it's like, okay. So uh, <laughs> usually when you take regular people out for these type of aerobatic stuff you don't want to pull more than two and a half three g's because then it becomes really uncomfortable and like they end up passing out uh we ended up pulling up to like four and a half g's which isn't an insane amount but like it certainly was enough to almost make me pass out i didn't though like i practiced the um clenching of a thighs technique and like proper breathing and actually didn't pass out i did get sick though due to the violent maneuvers but i managed to keep it in and not make a mess of the uh, um, cockpit but yeah my own fault um, still an amazing experience regardless like I really want to get into aerobatics now um, unfortunately today I noticed I'll never be able to be a fighter pilot because this aircraft even has like a lot of leg room in the cockpit but even then I'm too tall my knees were up high and obstructing the controls every now and then so it's just like no way I'd ever fit into a modern fighter aircraft which is sad but can still get into aerobatics some way. Um, the pilot actually made a really good analogy of what it's like. So um, after the landing, we spoke a little bit. I'm like, man, I really want to get into this. And he's like, yeah, you should be careful. It's very addictive. And I'm like, yeah, well, flying is already addictive. And he told me, yeah, flying is addictive the same way to smoking weed. But aerobatics is addictive the equivalent of like doing cocaine um <laughs> so i feel that's like a brilliant analogy i don't know like if that makes sense but it's roughly translated anyways um yeah that was it sorry again for the footage not being great i uh, hope you guys liked this video and if you did let me know because then i'll make some more future videos um of me flying stuff so yeah um hope you guys enjoyed this and have a good one cheers